Monalee. I am Monalee. Welcome back to my channel. And um, so, ah, uh, end of February. Today is the last day of February. Of course, if you're watching this, it's already into March because I have to record the videos and I schedule them, yada, yada, yada. So this is a subscriber request, my last subscriber request, and I am, for February anyway, for my 20K celebration. And I'm excited about this one because I'm excited. I'm excited and I'm nervous. So this is from Don and he is a subscriber. Hi, thank you for requesting. And um, it is Ali Sherlock and I recognize that name I feel like, but it could be because Sherlock is my husband's best friend's last name. Um, so maybe that's why I think it sounds familiar. I don't know, but she's singing hello, not by my man Lionel Richie, who my, my whole family makes fun of me because I think he is like so sexy. And my family is just like, are you serious? He looks like he has like a horse face. And I'm like, are you kidding? And my brother and sister-in-law bought me a cutting board that says, it has his face on it, like etched in it. And it says, hello, is it me you're cooking for? Oh. <laughs> I already told you my story of having too much wine and buying every single album of Lionel Richie on iTunes, including the greatest hits which had songs I just bought on other albums and including his duets with country singers, which wasn't good. And uh, yeah, so I'm a Lionel Richie fan. <laughs> his voice is smooth like butter. But anyway, this is not that version. This is Adele. Now, if you know me, you know you don't touch Adele. Adele's voice is insanely good. The quality of her voice, the range of her voice, the passion in her voice is just... You can't touch it. I don't, I don't know anybody that can, really. Linda Ronstadt is close for a girl from back in the day. Um, but this generation, Adele, hands down, has the best voice. So she's singing Adele. So I'm already going to be critical. I want it to be good. I do. I want it to. Am I going to like this? God, please. You may rely on it. Ooh! Eight ball, getting ballsy. I guess it would if it's a ball, right? <laughs> I'm hyper. Okay. Here we go. Oh, also, thank you to all my new Patreons. Thank you. And if you want to get in on it, go for it. Head over to Patreon. If you just have one request, head over to PayPal. If you're like, I don't want to give you any money, that's fine. Go to my um, podcast down below. It's not about music. E sorry, but um, I am excited to do this podcast. It's not going to take away from this channel. It is a separate project, passion project. And just give me a review. Listen to it. Give me a review. And um, that's a way to help me a lot. It's all about the algorithm. People, here we go, for real this time. Hello, it's me. I was wondering if after all these years you'd like to me to go over. Everything they say the time's supposed to heal, yeah, but I ain't done much healing. Hello, can you hear me? I'm in California dreaming about who we used to be when we were younger and free. I've forgotten. For the world that had me
so typical of me to talk about myself. I'm sorry. I hope that you have. Did you ever make it out of that town with nothing happening? It's no secret. Cause she looks familiar. She looks like the little girl playing with that other guy that plays the sax. Am I right? Am I wrong? When was this? Cause nobody, um, it's obviously some years ago, two years ago, three years ago. Cause no one's wearing masks. Unless, hey, unless they're in a good place like uh, South Dakota. South Dakota. Uh, the lucky ones there. Okay. Here's what I think about this. The little girl in the violin is so cute. Is that, I, I think that must be who I'm thinking of. Okay. The singer. She really needs to work on her tempo. She needs to work on the cracks uh, in the voice. I know some of them sound okay and are intentional, but some of them did not work. Um, she has potential. She really does. She needs some voice lessons. Um, does she know the song? Because that was, I was confused by the arrangement of the song. Also, um, if you're going to be looking at your phone, um, for lyrics and stuff, don't be selling CDs in the background. And if you're flat a lot on the notes and there's not really a lot of feeling coming out of you and you're looking at your phone, don't sell CDs. If it's just if you're if it's the violin girl selling CDs, that's cute. I can see that, but not the singer. Uh, she has potential. I can tell she has a quality voice that is a teenager or a young yeah a teenager that jet that needs some coaching, needs some voice lessons, needs some guidance. And I think that if she had that, she would be good. And I think if she could memorize the lyrics, then I think she could let her self expression and feeling come out more. I'd want to hear something else from her, maybe something recent, maybe something that was more rehearsed or better rehearsed or something that she sang better. I'm gonna give it a four. And the only reason I'm giving it a four instead of something lower, I wouldn't give it a one because that's the hippo that is Lizzo. But the only reason I'm giving it a four and not something lower is because I hear potential in her voice. And I feel like with coaching and guidance, she will be something worth hearing, be something really good. Um, but yeah, I give it a four. What do you think? I know some of y'all are just going to just cuss me out and rip me a new one. That's okay. Freedom of speech. Give it to me below.
That sounded really... <laughs> I mean below in the comment section. As soon as it... As soon as the words left my mouth, I thought... No. <laughs> Anyway, that was fun. So yeah, keep giving me requests. I, I can't do all the requests I get, of course, but I do like to, to go through and pick and choose and see which ones I think um, would interest me as well as my subscribers. And this is one of them. So thank you, Dawn, for this. I'll be back soon with another uh, video, of course, Music with Molly. Cheers. <laughs>